What is up guys, it is Nick and we oh, are back on Shining Resonance Refrain. So we gotta head out to the Elmore Greatwood, so we gotta go up and left. So let's head on out. We are still slightly under leveled. I'm not entirely sure that fighting these guys here is the All best right. idea. Yes. Enemy approaching. Oh, they're level 16 now. Alright, we can fight them. We gotta remember how to play this game. Okay, for level 16s, they're kind of terrible. How to do it. Because we gotta level up. Agnum is. Agnum is appropriately leveled, I would say. The rest of us are wolf, woefully. Up. Level 22. This is what we need right here. Oh my gosh, we deal no damage. We gotta turn into the dragon. Alright, that's one now. Alright, I'm gonna get... That's not... Let me out. No, let me out. How do I get out of this? There... Okay, I was right. I was like... You click left bumper and then you click right bumper, but it wasn't letting me out. That's really weird. Alright, what's our experience for that? 178. Okay. I don't really want to fight the goblin. Yes. Alright, what are we looking at here? We got the tortoises that are level 17. Can I get behind you? <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought I, could, I thought I could cut the corner there. Broke him. Should be a one swing. Why the heck was the goblin a part of this? Give me that nut. Really, Agnum leveled up. Not everybody that could have leveled up, Agnum did. Alright, these things gotta be high level. They just look 13. Alright, what if I sneak up on you? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. You gotta, per you gotta hit. All right, I got it now. You gotta perfectly hit left bumper and then right bumper. You gotta hit left bumper first. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. 107 XP. I just need to. I don't know. I don't think I need to fight everything. I just need to fight more because. We're just gonna get absolutely. This game, if you can't keep your healer alive, you just get absolutely destroyed, and then it's kind of stupid. Level hey, twenty. All, all right. Let's go. There. 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 there we go. Okay, that was a really quick kill. We did it. Forty-two XP. Okay. Wow, thanks so much, game. All right. I don't know what these heal mints are, because I never actually yes. get to use them. Get ready. Here they come. Let's fight you. Agnum, let me out of the corner. How are you not broken? Break! 
How are you not broken? Whatever. Screw it. Just kill him. There we go. I would like one more level up. That was nice experience, but no one leveled up. Get ready. Here they come. Oh, oh, I almost got behind. Break him. Break him. There we go. Alright, just gank him. Just gank him. Agnum, you could contribute here, homie. Alright, ranked up. Let's go ahead and grab this. I'm slightly concerned we didn't get too many level ups there. Um, level 26 orc. Alright, let's, let's try to grab a level up here. Uh, what is happening? Alright, let's take out the weak. Okay, I have no idea what just happened, but that was some slight work. There we go, this is the one. Don't let your guard down, Yuma. Right. Not exactly, I didn't really want to fight him yet, but... Alright, we'll watch the transformation this time. When I use it during, like, regular battles, I don't think there's a point. Now the question is, how hard does this dude hit? Hey, you want to do some healing? Heal me, please. Thank you. Alright, let's play the song, baby. My heart is fulfilled. I call upon the rhythm of nature. Yeah, just gank him. Come on, come on, somebody break him. Please, break him. Hold on. Let me, let me out. Let me out of being the dragon. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're underleveled, but not too underleveled. Alright, mission complete. Phew, we finished it. My chair is extra squeaky today. Yep, that takes care of that, and if you keep taking on missions like these, you'll learn how to control your power in no time. Yeah, I'll do my best, Agnum. Then let's head back. Oh, and don't let your guard down yet. Mission's not over till we're back home, right? Alright, we all, like, leveled up there. It's good. Yes. So what level are we now? So I'm 14, Kirika's 14, Sonya's 13, and Agnum is 16. I'm sure if we kill this... Broken. And slight work. This should this should probably level up Agnum. Yep, that leveled up Agnum. Still feel vastly under leveled, but what is the big hold on, what's the big enemy over here? Ooh, a griffin. 
I want the griffin. Hey, not all at once now. Yes. This could be trouble. Come here, griffin. Let's dance. Come on, break, big chicken. Where, what are you doing? Would you break, you oversized chicken? Ow. The stupid thing won't break. Oh, she's down. Oh, oh boy. Let's do this. It's broken. Just heal me, please, Kirika. Just heal me. Out. Okay, let me pause. What spear revives one ally? Okay, we got two of these, so let's bring her back so she can get the experience. I'm gonna potion her once just so she doesn't die straight up. Why? Why? Let me. Why? Why make one button? There we go. Why make one button like control multiple? Like, yeah, that was good. That was a good revive, I think, for the experience that she got from it. 434 is a lot to then fall behind everybody else. And look at that! Spirit seedling is the thing that he revives, right? Yeah, I got like five of those. Awesome! That was a amazing chest. So yeah, I'm definitely happy I revived her. So what does that make everybody? 14, 14, 17, and uh, Kirika and I are probably close. Same with Sonya. Probably uh, pretty close to leveling up. Alright, we can head back now. I need to look on my map for big enemies because, yeah, 400 XP, that wasn't too hard. Obviously, she did die, but she's like grossly underleveled. Because at least Kirika can heal, and I have a health mod on, so... I don't really have an issue. Like, we're n we're under-leveled, but we're not, like, vastly under-leveled like she is. Hey, not all, at once now. all right, let's fight the Hobgoblin here. We'll just, you know, organically, you know, fight some enemies along the way. And then sometimes if we're getting good XP, I'll do my best to fight everything. But I don't want to get to a point where it feels grindy, where I gotta, like, literally fight everything. I mean, that just isn't fun. But like this, kind of organically going through and fighting stuff, this is fun. Those are pretty easy, only two of them fight you. For 118 XP. I'll fight these again for 118. That's really easy. Oh, there's three. And then egg. The heck? I don't know what the egg was, but... Sure hope it meant a lot of XP. What are you doing? Breathing fire that literally hit... Please mean that egg gives a bunch of XP. Well, it didn't give a ton of XP, but... I don't know what that egg gave me. Oh, it gave me some materials. Okay, there's a level 17 dog. There's a chest up here. Big chest. Yes. What do we got in here? 
sand shell. Hmm. Is that an item? Hmm. Force menu. You can set up to four force abilities. Bone breaker. I mean, I might as well equip these. Oh, I should probably mess with my bond diagram real quick. So... How do I switch... Oh, there we go. So, he needs to be bright and cheerful. And then she needs to be good friend, so bright, bright and cheerful as well. I think that's right. I don't know. All right, let's fight this level seventeen. I guess I can turn into the dragon. <laughs> uh, made some slight work of them for 174. Kirika leveled up. I should probably fight one more and I think I'll level up, so let's go fight. One more twin-headed doll. There we go, clean them up nice and easy. Yep. Alright. So that was worth it. So, 15, 15, 17, 14. Much better. Probably could use a little bit more leveling up, but that's not, that's not bad. I'll fight this thing because it's level 22 and they're really easy. Broken and dead. Quake smash it. There we go. I don't think it's worth two. Yeah, 114. I mean, it's not like amazing experience, but it's not too terrible. Hey, not all at once now. I don't like how the mini map works, <laughs> where if you pull it up big, it just goes away completely. All right, we're back to town. Ah, you're all back. What's the matter, Captain Burrows? Did something happen? Yes, you're wanted at the castle. Come now on the double. Understood. Let's go, everyone. To the castle we go. How's it going? So I really, I really like this game. I just kind of need it in moderation. Like it's not a game I love to just sit down and play like five episodes in a row. Just simply because. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's kind of dialogue heavy, I guess, so it kind of feels a bit grindy at times that you're just kind of sitting here watching cutscenes. They're not even cutscene, like dialogue. I heard you were calling for me, Father. What is it? We've just received an urgent message from Captain Leston, the commander of the Elven Knights from Wellant. It sounds like he's seeing a lot of Imperial activity in Claval Crags. You think they're preparing for an attack? We can't say for certain. But it sounds like another group of Wellentine Knights are locked in a standoff in the mountains to the east. We're worried the Empire might try to catch them in a pincer strike, but the Knights can't risk an immediate maneuver. So, I would have your team move in and strike before the enemy can finish their preparations. 
I understand. Where is the enemy based? The commander will brief you himself. Sir Lester, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Allow me. For this operation, I ask that you look to Sir Lester for further instructions. Good luck to you all. Yes, Father. You can count on me. By your leave, Your Majesty. Now, our circumstances are as follows. Cleston, my man! Long time no see! Magnum, still alive, I see. Jeez, man, cold as ice. Is that any way to greet an old buddy? I was not summoned for my proficiency in greeting, Zagnum. I am here to conduct a war. You two are the same as ever, huh? There's something weirdly comforting about it. Ah, Sonia. You seem likewise unchanged. <laughs> Even humans can't change in just a couple months. Oh, but there is something I should mention. We have a new friend with us. Let me introduce you to Yuma. Yuma, this is Lestin. Nice to meet you. Yuma? So, you're the one. You're the vessel of the Shining Dragon, then. I would speak plainly with you. The Shining Dragon's power is a double-edged sword. If wielded improperly, it could just as easily destroy the world as save it. Speak. Are you capable of controlling that power? Oh, I... I, um... Well, that hardly inspires confidence. Barely an answer at all. Then let me make myself clear. If you ever lose control of your power... I will kill you myself. <laughs> you seem surprised. If you pose that much of a threat to your own allies, isn't it natural that you should be eliminated? Brother. Speak, Kirika. I will allow no more disrespect to his radiance. I spoke with no disrespect. It was a statement of fact and nothing more. I've opposed using the Shining Dragon's power from the very beginning. You know this. I do, and my feelings remain unchanged. His radiance will save Astoria. I'm sure of it. Well, back to the matter at hand. If you examine this map, you'll note the enemy is gathering at this point in the cracks. I see. All right. If it's around there, I think we can drive them back. They won't cause your unit any trouble. Our lives are in your hands. We must avoid an ambush from the rear flank at all costs. Now, I should be going. My presence is needed on the front lines. Understood. Leave the rest to us. We'll be setting out immediately. He'll... kill me? He talks like I don't already know the Shining Dragon is dangerous. But... No, I have to show him I can control it. If I work hard and train myself, I know I can do it. Okay, so we gotta head this way. Wanna see if there's anything more before we actually head out on the quest. Look, the Shining Dragon got his own page there. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything else. We gotta go way up. So we go right and through here, through all of this to get to here. This map is actually pretty big. I'm assuming we go to all of these areas. I mean, at some point, I'd assume we get there. To... Oh, I'm assuming we go back to Gale Ritz prison at some point. What's that? Bessel Adlum. 
above all crags. Looks like it probably branches off up here. It's pretty cool. But uh, I think that's going to do it. I guess we can uh, have our nighttime chat session with Sonya. Uh, look, you look well, Yuma. Let's do our best. Yeah. Yuma, oh sure. Come to my bedchamber, Sonya. Welcome back. What does she have to say? Oh, Yuma, I'm sorry, but could I get your help carrying the groceries? Of course, it's the least I could do. You take such good care of us. Hmm? Keep up that talk and you might find yourself with a sneaky extra helping a beast stew tonight, young man. Huh? I'll look for... Oh, these are heavy. Hey, Emma, looking pretty as ever. Hey, you know what else is pretty? This morning's catch. You want some fish? On discount, just for you. Oh, really? How generous. Yes, I think I'll... Huh? But Emma, you said you were making beef stew. I did say that, but we can fry up the fish for breakfast tomorrow, can't we? That's a good thought. Hoy, Emma, just got a fresh harvest in from the orchards if you want anything. Hmm, I've already got what I need for dinner, I'm afraid. Oh, no, no, that won't do. If you don't buy today, I won't have produce from these orchards again for a while. They're worth your money, I swear. Oh, I'm too easily persuaded. Yes, alright. Thanks, Emma, you really know what's up. Emma, I don't think this stuff is really stewing material. Hmm, I suppose lunch tomorrow, perhaps. Oh, Emma, the meat pies just came out of the oven. You want them for your customers? I'll give you the wholesale discount. I left some top-tier wine for you, Emma. Keep it away from the dragon ears, though. I know you've got some guests old enough to drink. Emma, hey, Emma, over here. You need veggies? We've got a sale on garden bundles. You're too kind. I suppose I'll just take everything. What? Really? Most of this has nothing to do with the stew. You're you're sure? We'll be fine. This is why I have you, dear, to carry things. Hmm. That's not really the problem I was trying to. Oh, boy. Giggle. Thank goodness for those discounts. I ended up saving quite a bit. You're super sure about this. There's a week worth of groceries here. Some of it might spoil. It'll be fine, dear. It always ends up like this. I go to pick up a few things, and I end up with the mountains of food. Well, uh, you always buy this much? How do you even go through all this before it goes bad? Mom! Mom! Hey, Primula, what's the big rush? Uncle Burroughs said he's bringing a lot of the knights over to the seagull, but the pantry's all empty. There's no way we're going to have enough to feed them all, even if we went to the market right now. Hmm, it's all right, Primula. Look, what? With all the food? That's way more than enough. This is great. Thanks, Mom. Amazing. It all worked out in the end. See, I told you, we always find some place to put it. I've never had to waste food in my life. I guess I'm just lucky. So can Welcome I pick back. up Emma? That's that's the real question. Can Emma turn into waifu? Rest well. I understand Emma has a kid, but does Emma have a... Does Emma have a, uh, hey, a husband? I've been thinking. What? Are you doing something with your hair? I don't know how you get it all smooth like that. Do you mind if I touch it? Huh. Sure. If you want. Sonia? You're a little close. It is smooth. Is this seriously natural? Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair's just all dark and bulky. She smells, she smells nice. nice. Is this, this what all girls smell like? <sighs> all right, Yuma. You don't gotta be weird. Aww, I wish I had hair like yours. But your hair's so pretty, and it smells nice. And... Huh? I um, really? I don't really know how to react when you say it like that. You're gonna make me blush. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Yuma. Thanks? So that wasn't awkward or anything? No, no. It was nice, just unexpected. Night, Yuma. Okay. Good night, Sonia. Obtain Sonia's trait. Scent of black hair. That's just creepy, dude. Yuma, you're terrible at this.
All right, though, that's gonna do it for... Good morning, Emma. Did you sleep well? You shouldn't stay up so late, giggle. Giggle, giggle, giggle. All right, that's gonna do it. Let's, let's real quick, oh, we'll check out the store. Sell, quest, talk. Um... I'm gonna this buy another one, one of nice. these. I'm gonna buy this another one, one of nice. these to get to seven. And I'm gonna buy four this potions. So I can talk to her. So can I just hit on every girl in this game? Is that literally what can happen here? Yuma, impeccable timing. I'm bored half to death. Keep me company a while. Hello, Lizalette. Bored? Are you sure it's okay for you not to be manning the shop? The shop is always open. In the end, whether business takes place or not is up to my customers, not me. I don't think I need anything in particular, but oh, what's this bottled stuff? Medicine? Hand cream made from seal fat. Feel free to sample some if you've been experienced dryness. Hand cream? I don't think I need it, but thanks anyway. What's the bottle over here? Uh, that's a pickled tree nut from the south. You coat it in a spicy miso before you bake it. Makes a good treat. Nice. You really do have everything, don't you? At the same time, it's all over the place. <laughs> well, I just sell what I have. The import business depends on a lot of seasonal things. Even so, northern seal fat, southern tree nuts, how did you get your inventory so diversified, Lizalette? Hmm, Sonia said the war is putting pressure on trade routes. Getting things from place to place is really dangerous right now. But you have things from all over the world here. How do you manage it? Hee <laughs> hee, it's simple, Yuma. Simple? It's a trade secret, like a secret recipe. Hello, Primula, welcome, you're in high spirits, I see. Lizalette, do you have the thing we ordered last time? Yes, it just came in this morning. Here. Thanks, and here's the money. What did you buy, Primula? A knife made from kami metal? It cuts super well. We had one for a long time, but it finally broke and Mom needs a new one. The mines for the ore are really far to the west, though. With how dangerous it's been. The far west, huh? I wonder why they're still peddling weapons like knives when there's a war going on. That's asking for trouble. You understand now, though? Rain or shine, I'll keep this place open until the imports dry up. Come by if you need something the other shops don't have. A mysterious import shop, huh? Alright, oh, so I think that'll do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Shining Resonance Refrain. Peace out!